Good day, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Little Fingers World. And today, I'm gonna show you how I fix your problem of the MacBook Pro I bought from eBay. So remember the one that restarts every time you plug into the power adapter or charger. Yep. So I'm gonna show you the easy fix. So we already know that we have a reboot problem using the charger that comes with the MacBook Pro early 2011. So what I did is that I tried another charger to that unit and it turns out that the unit works well with that with the replacement charger. So to confirm that Findings. I tried to use the um, charger that comes with that unit to another MacBook Pro, and it confirms that the problem is not the MacBook Pro; it is the charger. So voila, problem solved. So right now, all we have to do is that upgrade or update our Mac OS from OS X to El Capitan and then to Mac OS Share. So the first step that I took when I update the operating system for this MacBook Pro is I save a copy of my Mac OS X. I mean, that's the original operating system of this unit. You, um, I save a copy using the time machine. In this way, whatever happens to my update or whatever I do, I'll always have a backup copy of the original operating system. So I can always use it all over again. So the next step will be the installation of OS X El Capitan. Um, I just went ahead and looked for El Capitan in the App Store and click update. After that all you have to do is follow the um, instructions. The duration of the installation and downloads will depend on the speed of your internet connection, so sometimes it will take time. Once the installation is done, you can go ahead and look for Mac OS Sharer and same thing with what you did with the installation of El Capitan. All you have to do is click the update and follow through the instructions. So this is how far you can update the MacBook Pro early 2011 model number A1278. However, there are people who take the high risk of updating their Mac OS of their MacBook using the applications outside the Apple Store. So if you're brave enough to take that high risk, you should take the challenge. But as for me, I'm already happy with Mac OS Sharer, so this is how far I will update this unit. So once the installation is done, all you have to do is follow instructions and settings. So I guess that's it for now. Once again, thank you for watching. 